Hey guys, it's Dr. Sayed here, AKA Real Skin Doctor. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about dark spots on the skin. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm a doctor specializing in dermatology, and it's my goal to help you navigate the confusing and wild world of dermatology and skincare using some basic scientific facts. I'm gonna start by giving you an introduction to what those dark spots on your skin are. Then I'm gonna to talk to you about the most common causes of those that I see in my own clinic. And I'm gonna end the video by telling you some potential treatment options for them. Now it's important to clarify right from the off what I mean by dark spots on your skin. I'm not talking about moles here, even though they are technically dark spots. That's something we'll cover in another video. What I'm talking about here are patches on your skin that have become dark, the medical term for which is hyperpigmentation. As any of you with small children will know, hyperactivity means too much activity. And in the same way, hyperpigmentation means too much pigmentation. So where does pigment come from in our skin in the first place? The epidermis is the outermost layer of our skin, and at the base of the epidermis are a couple of different types of cells. The most common of these are number one, keratinocytes, and number two, melanocytes. Keratinocytes are the basic structure cells of the skin. They provide the overall scaffolding for our entire skin barrier. Melanocytes are these little factory cells that produce pigment called melanin. Melanocyte produces melanin. Each melanocyte produces these little packets of melanin pigment and then distributes them to this network of 30 keratinocytes all the way around it. Ayo, uh, you, you want some melanin? It's the good stuff right here. It's gonna block that sun. We actually all have the same number of melanocytes in our skin, whether we're white, brown, or black. But the specific type of pigment and how thick each pigment packet is varies depending on your race. So that's the normal state of our skin and the normal balance that the melanocytes maintain. They produce the right amount of pigment to keep our baseline skin tone the same. So why then do they sometimes go into overdrive? by far the most common cause of hyperpigmentation that I see in my clinic is because of inflammation. This type of skin darkening is therefore called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. That is an area becomes inflamed and irritated and once it all calms down, you're left with some dark patches in the area where the itchiness initially was. Now this inflammation could have been because of an allergic response, it could have been an acne pimple, or it could have been caused by something from the outside, you scratching it for example. Either way, local inflammation sends these little chemical messages to the melanocyte telling it that it needs to start producing some more pigment. The regular the structure of the base of the skin that keeps the melanocytes and also all of the melanin pigment above it also gets disrupted by the inflammation and you then get some pigment leaking into the deeper levels of your skin and staying there. Melasma is also an extremely common cause of dark patches that I see in my clinic each day, most commonly in women in their 30s and 40s. In melasma, people notice these darkened and brown patches, most commonly on their cheeks and also on the sides of their face. We don't know the exact cause of melasma, but we know with some certainty that it's triggered by a combination of hormones and also sun exposure. This combination causes the pigment producing cells, the melanocytes, to get overexcited and produce too much pigment. Melasma is also known as the mask of pregnancy because it so commonly coincides with women getting pregnant and all of a sudden and noticing these dark patches on their cheeks. And that also fits with the theory that melasma is related to hormones because pregnancy is a time in which a lot of hormonal changes occur. Acanthosis nigricans is a condition we see a lot and is commonly associated with insulin resistance. This means we most commonly see it in patients who are overweight and also those who have diabetes. It's actually pretty common for people to come to our clinic, not know they have diabetes, and then when we see the specific type of rash, which I'll show on screen, we tell them that they should see their primary care doctor and get their sugar tested, and it ends up that they do in fact have diabetes. The dark patches of acanthosis nigricans tend to be a little bit more velvety in appearance as compared to other dark patches, and they also are most typically found on the sides of the neck and also in the armpits. So if your dark patches look like this, you should definitely see your primary care doctor and ask them to give you a workup for diabetes. Certain medications, most famously amiodarone or minocycline, are known to cause darkening of the skin, especially after prolonged use. They don't cause inflammation like those other cases I talked about, but they stimulate the melanocytes directly and cause darkening of the skin, most typically on the shins or the face. So if you're noticing these dark patches and you happen to be on either of those medicines, go to see your doctor and ask them whether or not they think that could be a cause. Now, although the causes of each of these types of hyperpigmentation are different and they require their own specific response, I'd like to share with you some overall principles that I think will be helpful regardless what the cause is of your hyperpigmentation. Inflammation always makes dark spots worse. This includes scratching and rubbing the area, so you should always avoid doing that at all costs. If you have inflamed areas of your skin, go to see your dermatologist or your primary care doctor as soon as you can because they can give you a cream that's anti-inflammatory and stop you trying to do the work yourself using your nails and other traumatic methods 
pathogens that can leave behind these dark patches. Avoiding the sun using sunscreen. Whether it's darkness caused by inflammation, melasma, medication, anything, no matter what it is, having extra UV exposure to those melanocytes is gonna make them even more excited. That's gonna make the dark spots last twice as long. Or even if you've managed to successfully treat your dark spots, it could make them come back with a vengeance. Make sure to wear sunscreen anyway for all the other reasons I've told you about, but in this case, especially if you have dark spots, put sunscreen on the dark spots whenever you're going outside, otherwise the problem will not go away as fast as it could. Now for all other specifics of treatment, I really recommend seeing your local doctors because they can evaluate the cause of your hyperpigmentation, give you any workup that's necessary, and then give you treatments using a combination of topical creams or other medications that might be relevant for you. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos on here because if you enjoyed this, you might enjoy those too. I want my subscribers to be experts on their own skin, which is why I give these detailed scientific explanations in all of my videos. So join the Real Skin Doctor crew, subscribe to the channel right here as we go on this journey together. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.